Uh, are we live? Seems good. Seems good. Oh my god, where's my voice gone all of a sudden? I was literally just, like, testing the microphone, and it was fine. Excuse me while I drink some water. Thank you so much, Veldak. Good to see you again as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And hopefully we'll see my voice again soon. That was... is surprising. Okay, so where the hell are we? I don't think I missed a Factorio stream this week, but it feels like it's been a minute. The rumors are true. Wait, what? C for cat, welcome in. Good to see you again. Um, where are we up to? Let's see. I know I need to uh, update some old builds um, all over the place, actually. But I think we're pretty okay for... What the hell is this? Water. Okay, that's fine. I think we're pretty okay in general for resource flow for the moment. Oh, oh, oh. We've got a... We've got an outpost. Wait, what the hell is this? Uh, no. Why did you fly directly to Bombato orbit? What? But did... Was that ship sent, like, ages ago when I was configuring the... Before I configured this properly? Maybe? Must have been. The other ones are... The other ones are working properly. Oh my goodness, indeed. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I, I guess we need to go rescue Ion Hauler 6, for starters. And it's going to be a lot faster if we go via Foenestra. Where's my... Where's my taxi? Taxi? Oh, it's heading back, that's why. Alright, um... Where am I standing right now? I think I'm, like, down here somewhere? It's the stone core fragments next to the hot bio. Oh, train's already coming back for something. Um, alright, tell you what. Come and... Wait, I'm way up here. Uh, maybe I should wait till the train gets what it came for, and then I'll bring it up this way. Probably could have flown back by now. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you. I do feel marginally improved. Hopefully on the way out without taking any more days off. Okay, so we're going to chase down... which Iron Hauler was it? Iron Hauler 6. I almost said 16 if I had to guess, which would have been wrong. What? No, 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 no. There we go. Alright. Um, I probably want to go straight to some outpost or something after this as well, so it's probably better if our ship is fully loaded. Alright, hauler 6 would take 24 minutes to get to, so we're definitely better off going via Foenestra. A lot better, actually. It's going to be about 9 minutes.
And until then... Um... Until then, what should we focus on? Probably the thing that I was about to look at. Our outpost at Bombato. Oh, let me check. This guy heading for Fo and Astra. This guy heading for Fo and Astra. And they wouldn't have gotten here without running out of fuel if they hadn't gone via Fo and Astra in the first place. So yeah, maybe Iron Hauler got there ages ago and I didn't notice. I don't know. Um, can we declare extinction here yet? Let's see. We cannot. We've got another sunbathing leviathan snapper here. Casual 19,000 hit points left. 18,000 hit points. Um, I think we might have already gotten all of the spawners and worms. Judging by the map. So it's literally just hopping around the planet, um, giving roasting snappers. Because um, I'm pretty sure all of the, like, not as ridiculously chunky uh, biters are already dead. Um, but yeah. How much did we get going here. Oh, I remember. There's like there's not that many. There's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 drills. But that's actually quite a lot. Be uh, 82 core fragments per second because this planet is thick. And we're very, very clearly bottlenecked on either ships taking core fragments away or processing core fragments back on Hagen. Uh, Vita Melange has been a bottleneck for quite a while, so let's have a look. I think we might need another block to process core fragments. That might be the case. This is to be expected. We don't actually have enough of these to keep up. 253 nuggets per second versus 320. Myclat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Grilled lobster, indeed. Can you up the uh, DPS on that beam at all? I can, but there's like two lobsters left on the planet, or maybe ten. T-Hacks, they forced me to install an LTN mod by force. Console me. Congratulations on your purchase of LTN. Welcome in, my clad. Welcome to LTN. Why is this so imbalanced? I guess it doesn't matter. Um, so what's our flow for Vitamelange like? Let's see. Uh, I wish there was a turn off everything button, because I just... Oh, there we go. Mainly, I want to see spice and extract, because that's what kind of matters. In the last hour, we've gone from zero to lots. Uh, probably because we got that new outpost going recently. No? That... Hmm. This is a little concerning. We'll give it some more time and see if it doesn't stabilize, because we should be... If I don't build any more processing blocks for Vitamelange just yet, uh, we should be completely saturated on it, or rather, production should be consistent. Mario Luigi Kicks? Wait, what? Vinmars? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Who would win in a boxing match? Oh. Mario uh, is actually kind of like a psychopath.
there's there's uh I forget what game it was, but there's that one scene where he stomps on Luigi's feet. Why are all of these trains like this? Wait, I should have checked where they're going. Oh. They're taking all the old prod... Mo what did... What? 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 What did... How many prod modules did I ask for here? 6,000. That is... 120 stacks. We've got storage chests for... 144 stacks. So why the hell would we oversupply prod modules and then chuck them back to the mall? What? And don't tell me all of these short trains are moving... Prod... Mod... Jewels. Why? What? Why are we... I... I... I don't understand. We've got 7.2 thousand prod threes here, and we only asked for 6,000. Evil Plow, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Glacier Wolf, I think I said hi, but just in case. Welcome in. You did, fantastic. Okay, but are these just like catching up on a bunch of requests they got all at once? Because there was like a... Uh... no limit on the number of trains that got queued up or something. Oh, actually, it doesn't make sense. It, it's, it should take, with the LTN settings I have, it should take, I think it's 10 hours, like literally the maximum I can set it to before LTN decides a train is missing and to send another one. And if that doesn't happen, it shouldn't be oversending prod modules. Um, but still, if it settles itself down now and it doesn't schedule any more prod modules, I guess it's okay. Oh boy, is this still... What? Oh, that's not prod modules. Cool, cool, cool. Destination full. What do you mean? No train limit here. Oh, it's trying to pick up the... It's trying to pick up a uh, reagent and there's not enough yet. That's fine. Alright, what evidently isn't fine is we don't have ludicrous enough Vitamelange throughput to even get a good trickle of reagent. Um, we have reached Phonestra, so let's just double check that it is indeed Iron Hauler 6 that we need to visit. And I'll set Iron Hauler 6's destination as construction ship. Wait, where is it going already? Bombato orbit. Yeah, that obviously it would have to be. Okay. Construction ship. Cool. Beep, beep, beep. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Mr. Strims. Mr. Strims. Uh, hello to you. Alright, um, while we're flying over there for the next few minutes... Do I have any builds that I designed that I didn't get around to actually making yet? We do have matter, I know that. We built the catalogs already, but we don't have... 
uh, I think it was AI cores. We've, I think we've built everything, so we'll eventually get AI cores. Ooh. We've actually got reagent up here. Okay. We might not be as slow as I thought for reagent. We might be approaching the point where a bunch of slow-consuming train stations have a bit of reagent now. Very nice. Also, we have made, like, tens of thousands of uh, significant biomass, so it's not as if we're not making any. But, yeah, it needs to be a lot faster still. So, how much... Um, I can basically expand it at will. How much uh, vitamelange are we getting so far? On both of my outposts, I can add more drills. Although we'll get a lot more out of um, out of the ones at Bombato. All right, search entity drill. Uh, we've got ten. And rate calc. 50 per second. And at Bombato, we've got... Drumroll. Uh, why is it so slow? Only 8 drills so far. And that gives us 82 per second, so we've got like, is it 150, 253 per second? Uh, yeah. And we're only processing, I think it's 96 per second, maximum. 55, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um... I really can't care about this mineral water as much as having another one of these blocks right next to their consumers. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, grab one of these. We might need some more signaling over here. Maybe not, actually. There we go. And then copy paste. Fantastic. Construction train. And I'll make it do a couple of laps just in case. Perfect. Twist DP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did a ship run out of fuel? It did. That's why we're flying over to it. 20 seconds and we'll be there. So, I take it by now we are actually saturated on Vit Core Fragments. Fantastic. How many trains do we have moving Vit Core Fragments? Um, let's see. We've got zero in orbit and three on the ground. I think three is probably enough. Still, maybe. Still working through all those old core fragments there. Oh, and have we been... Yeah, I... The fact that just checking on this randomly, I happen to see a, a, a train here, and that these are full, what the actual... Um, it really does seem like, for some reason, once I made the exception handler to catch ships that somehow end up relaunching into orbit 
uh, often with random core fragments and stolen bots. It was... Okay, it went from a rare problem to a super rare problem after I fixed it so that uh, we don't allow a ship to land here until this is empty enough to empty the ship in one go with the bots. Uh, and after like tens and tens of hours, we only had two ships that were stuck in orbit with like some core fragments in them and some bots hovering and no destination clamp ID on the memory cell. And I finally caved in and made a landing place specifically for those bugged ships. And now, all of a sudden, it seems like it's incredibly common for the ships to land here. And I don't know why. It's frustrating, to say the least. So do we... I, I would imagine we've currently got ships that are, like, queued up trying to land at that particular spot? It's not because I... It's not because I told a bunch of them just land there to get them out of my way in a hurry. Because those were all Vitamelange core fragments. I can't find a single ship right now. It doesn't add up. I, I can't find one ship that's waiting to land here. But we seem to get a lot of traffic f through here. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that we have that bug in the first place either, but what can you do? At this rate, I'll... At this rate, I'll have to make a more sophisticated loader to deal with... The many, many core fragments that are getting delivered this way. Because we're bottlenecking on... Loading it. Over here. And then we're probably going to get rare bugs where they... The inserters stick out and load the wrong core fragment into the wrong train. Uh, how's this looking? That, at least, is working perfectly. Uh, oh, a construction train literally just finished it. Nice timing. Alright, so... Do we need to shift the bottleneck anymore for the moment? We've got 152 Vinamelange per second. We can process 96... Uh, so that's a yeah. Which way is this going? Actually, give me all of this. And may as well get those power poles out of the way. And that one can stay. Or we could just put this here. Alright, where's Constructo? Do we have room to pick this up? I think so. Oh, we don't have rail over here. It's probably fine. T hacks, C Moogle in Discord mentioned Holmium processing might not be working due to 
dirty water and not making beads. Is that the new Holmium? Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Rut row. Well, it hasn't stopped yet, but yeah, I do see problems. Uh, we just need to be able to output the beads back onto the belt. Hmm. If they're going straight back into this container, and we generally don't end up with uh, the near side of the belt being full, then I guess we could just do this. Either that, or I could put a bit of belt that will bottleneck before we go to this recycle part. But yeah, no, this seems fine. Oh. Uh, where are we, by the way? Board Iron Hauler 6. Uh, at least it has energy. Wait. It has energy? Why was it stopped out here? Oh, it's out of fuel... I knew that. I knew it was out of fuel. Oh no. How am I going to get it home if it's out of fuel? I know the answer. I want to be wrong. Uh, I think I'm going to need magnetic canisters to refuel it. Oh no, why can't we dock the spaceships? What a disaster. So we can make magnetic canisters, which means... Uh, we should be able to fill? Or do we need more research for that? Fill? No. Ion... Ion canister. We've got... We have the technology. We need a particle collider. To fill it with a thousand ion stream. And to unload it. Uh, we need a particle accelerator. Jesus. That's gonna be... We can put modules in this. It's going to be 3.3 .3 megawatt. That's not so bad. Um, and we'll have to, like, put spaceship floor here just so that we can empty it. Do I have any spaceship floor? Oh, I could use scaffolding? Or could, could I use scaffolding in this place? Nope. So we need some spaceship floor as well. Okay. Just double check I didn't already have it. Back home we go, I suppose. Um, but yeah, good catch, see Moogle. Alright. This is just waiting for more of this. Fantastic. Which is apparently saturated here, but not being delivered here. Why? Do we not have enough trains? Uh, that may actually be exactly the problem. Yeah, I think that's it. Great, so I need to make... Let's say 10 more LTN trains when I get back. 
should probably do that first. Okay, so to-do list. 10 times new LTN train ground. Uh, fill ion. I should probably do that first. It might... No, I think it'll happen really quick, actually. Uh, well, even so, I should probably do it first. Fill ion uh, mag containers. We have to make the mag containers first. Uh, which involves... Superconductive cable, secure canister, lithium sulfur battery, rare metals. Can I just do it here? Let's try it. So we need like 40,000 ion stream to fill the ship. I doubt we'll really need to fill it for it to get all the way back, but we may as well be careful about that. Uh, what machine do we need to make it? Oh, it's only made in an electromag facility. Okay. And... I don't, I don't think we needed a fluid? No, we're good. Alright, requester, inserter, and we've got everything except for secure canister. How do we... Oh, wait, what? I thought we had those somewhere. How do we make secure canisters? We can make them in the space manufacturing. Alright. Should probably put those somewhere a bit more... ...fundamental, for lack of a better word. I don't know, just, just put it here. Alright, secure canister. Oh, it's only a prereq, so I'm only going to ask for one. And then we'll probably be requesting them all over here for a minute. I should probably just put a limit on these. Oops. Eh, that's fine. Um, and yeah, they need to come from here as well. Has... Is this not updated yet? Oh, we're trying to make too much other stuff. Why is this blocked? Transport belt? Uh, that's why I turned this off. Mm, I actually kind of need a prerequisite system. If I'm only going to have four machines. That's why I had this switched off all, all that time ago. I wish there was an elegant way to to do this without lots of combinators. All right, that's nice and fast at least. And there's some canisters. I'll just put this up here to remind myself that I like left it switched off. Are we at Fo and Estra already? Fantastic. Back to Hagen Orbit. And then... Alright. So our missions are thus. Fill mag canisters. Uh, make a bunch of LTN trains. I should probably put some more batteries in trains while I'm at it. We've got 40. I think I'll queue up a lot of these. So that I can go on a spree 
um, putting them into the trains that visit the ground or stay on the ground. Uh, and then, of course, we need to rescue our ship. Cool. ETA, three and a half minutes till we're back in Hagen orbit. Oh, yeah. What should I do? I think I need to make a smart loader for this, so we can have the large stack sizes. The thing is... Unless I like... Oh, we're out of storage space? Lovely. Maybe I should just put storage chests. No, theoretically, we want every type of core fragment to fit here. Why don't you let these two drop off some some core fragments? Shouldn't they be putting it in here? Actually, oh, it's getting refilled with this. They're actually moving iridite. That's why. Do I try even harder to fix the spaceships, or do I make this work better? I guess there's always both. The best thing I can think of is... Um, basically to just add a timer so that... We'll just set these inserters to, like, stack size 10, rather than measuring what's in the train. And set a timer so that the bots have time to put whatever in this chest before it starts loading the train. And hope that's enough. Uh, let's see. We need two deciders if we're going to have a timer that resets itself. Let's get our construction train down here. And then we're just going to have... Oh, I can't set filters and enable disable. In that case, I'll have to... Have another decider. That should be it. So basically, we're going to say... Uh, let's see. That, that could maybe connect here as well. Uh, if anything greater than zero, output T. Oops. T for timer or train or both. Uh, T1, and then we're going to output T input count. If t is greater than zero, so it'll forget as soon as it, uh, wait, no. That's not gonna reset itself, is it? Yay, annoy Yay annoying, thanks for seven months. Budgie bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. 
Could you set them to stack size 10 and require 10 in the box rather than a timer? The thing is I have to set filters on these. Uh, and we can't read the contents of the chest because we're setting requests as well. Archimaxes, welcome in also. Thank you so much for the seven months, Budgie Bum. Much appreciated. Um... What signal can I count on getting from the logistic train stop output? Moak, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need some spaceship floor. Not a whole lot, actually. Uh, before I do that, I, I should probably actually get the mag canisters that we're after. 35 should probably be enough. That's 35,000, um, 36,000, uh, ion stream that we can carry. Why does it... Oh, right. There's... It only takes one of each of these to make one. That's relatively cheap. Okay, well, this will do for now. Uh, I believe we needed a... Not a particle accelerator. We need one of those to unload the mag, the ion stream. It was the brown one, right? To fill it... No, it's... Hold up. Particle stream... Uh, sorry, particle accelerator to empty it. And... Yeah, here it is. Particle collider to fill it. They're around here somewhere. Particle Collider is in this box. I only need one just as well. They stack to only one. And where am I going to shove it? Probably right here. Let's take the construction train over. Does it have any scaffolding? It actually doesn't. Let's take this guy instead. For whom I have not yet made a proper modern loader yet. Away we go. What else could I do to try and prevent that spaceship bug? Uh, okay, so I need some scaffolding, please. Pretty sure it's bigger than this. How much bigger is it? Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's kind of aggressive. Whoops, whatever, it's fine. Does it fit? That is the question. Uh, yes. Yes, it does. And we need... Canisters. So these things... Um, min consumption 3.3. Yeah, I already went over that. I need to remember one particle accelerator. To take to the spaceship. Why is it not? They're all in here, aren't they? Is this it? No, that's electromag facility. Where, where are my particle accelerators? They're in storage. But, so why isn't... Why isn't it getting delivered to a buffer chest? 
On the way, zero logistics storage 16. And we've got all the Logibots available right now. What? What? Why? Why is no one delivering this? Do we have room? Oh, it actually got filled up. Well, there's your problem. Okay. Um, I could maybe have some bots just take a little bit of this away. And that should sort itself out, perhaps. Alright. That is 23... 25k ion stream. Let's just stop making it for a moment because I don't want to... Ooh. Yeah. Okay, this thing only holds 2,000 input. I don't want to... Um... I don't want this to be overfilled when I delete this. I want the fluid to flow back in here. And here we go. 188k, 190k. Fantastic. Beautiful. Alright, back we go. I should probably put in some bigger storage for Ion Stream while I was at it. And this constant combinator wouldn't have to be here. How fast do we make this? 408 per second. All the more reason to have more storage. It doesn't consume all that quickly. Alright. So did we get our... Particle... Accelerator, fantastic. Particle accelerator, check. 40 ion canisters, check. That's actually enough to completely fill the spaceship. Uh, I've got a collider and an accelerator, actually, but just to double check, it is, in fact, accelerator to empty the ion canisters. I've got some efficiency modules, so we don't have to pay all of the electricity for it. Spaceship floor, that's what we need. Spaceship floor. I only need enough to... Uh, I only need enough to be able to place the particle accelerator. And that should be that. A ship ran out of fuel, indeed. Not sure why. I mean, I know why, I don't know why. It went straight to Vazanas instead of going via Foenestra. Okay. Uh, we need to fix this still. Okay, so... Why do we not have a train coming here? At this point. We've definitely got enough... Oh, is, like, iridite core fragment processing just saturated? Yeah. Hmm... I need to see an example, here we go, of what signals we get from this. Uh, so it was the type of core fragments, the number of core fragments the train is bringing or requesting, and a bunch of signals for like space locomotive, uh, like the binary representing this one's here, this one's here, this one's here. Hmm. T 
is greater than zero output. Oh yeah, no, this needs to be... Well, I can't really use an anything for this. So I guess it's going to have to be... Encoded positions of space locomotive or something like that. Um, so if we're detecting encoded positions of space locomotive, let's just make all of that red. bit less confusing. Okay, so if there's a train detected, we run a timer. Um, if that timer is greater than, I don't know, five seconds? If T is greater than 500, output everything. And then we can just have the same logic here, except I'll set th these two to stack size 10. Alternatively, I could check how much is in the train and, like, reduce the stack size, but that gets a bit sketchy with multiple cargo wagons. Alright, hopefully that will work and not jam up. I can dream, can't I? Oh, that's the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Erudite core fragment. There we go. All right, back we go. And that should sort itself out, we hope. I've got this as a high priority, but like the cons the, the vanilla train schedules are bringing core fragments here before LTN schedules anything. Which is... makes it kind of tricky. I guess I could set the request much higher. Or make it so that the train isn't allowed to deliver until we're lower. Oh, is this it? Wait, did that, did that happen already? I guess we may have missed it. We are almost at Foenestra. It's a steamship. Yeah, they're all steamships. You pretty much have to make, uh, well, al almost all power plants on ships tend to be steam. Weird as that is. All right, 9.2 thousand, 9.3 thousand. Once we're at 10, we need to change our destination and oh I can get rid of this now yeah 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 let's let's do that let us do that and while we're at it I'll make a proper a proper loader for the deconstruction train All right, let's see. We pretty much just want to empty everything. And then put construction bots in. Uh, and I guess we could put repair packs in, but I don't really care. Um, so same logic as this, but stripped of quite a lot, actually. 
Oh, actually, we could make it way simpler than that. Uh, hold on. No, that's not quite right. Alright, alright, alright. First of all... And... Second of all... Sergeant Dog, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sure, welcome also. Morning, so question I have... Uh, have you tried Industrial Revolution 3 mod? No, I have not. Just learning it now. Seems cool so far. Fantastic. Um, Alright, so I want... Um, I think we'll just do requester chests instead of buffer chests for these ones. Because it's always just going to be the same thing we're requesting. And then we don't have to worry about the count of construction bots being thrown off by what's in the buffers. So step one, uh, if our train just arrived, empty it. And since, since all we're putting in is some construction bots. Oh, can I put this up here? Will that reach them all? Maybe here is good. Someone gonna pick that up? There we go. Hopefully that reaches the front cargo wagons. It does. Okay. We need some filter inserters. We need... How did I detect if the train just got here? Oh, I didn't end up keeping that part. If construction bots greater than 147, empty everything. Well, actually, in this case, I think we'll just empty everything unconditionally and then reload it with bots. Because it's going to be such a small difference. Because we're not filling it up with all sorts of stuff, like the construction train. So I don't think we need any fancy, schmancy stuff here. And... Set filters... Whitelist? Wait, do we even need filters for these? No, we don't. Just make them superior inserters. Oops. Okay, enable disable. C equals zero. If C greater than red, C1. Do I want to just copy this again, or...? At what point do we say the train is empty? If everything equals this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to think of it, I kind of want to change this. Um... Oh my god, why? What's happening? Okay. Uh... Do we have, like, a train... Let's just have, like, a locomotive sim uh, sy symbol for this. This can be red, though. That does make sense. Okay. 
So if locomotive is detected, output one construction part times 147, and then if C is greater than zero, output all of that. If everything equals locomotive, then the train ID that is, then it means the train is empty, so activate C. If construction bot count too high, uh, empty the train, reset this memory cell, and we won't need this part. If uh, construction bot equals 147, start loading everything else. So yeah, I think we will use this. Um, but then we do need to... Hmm. Yeah, we will need to read from the train. The contents, that is. Okay. So I guess I kind of want two conditions on these. And the best way I can think to do that is use the filter inserters after all. Oh, they are filter inserters. Cool, cool, cool. Am I going to set filters? Yeah, yeah, this will this will work. Uh, set filters whitelist. Don't worry about the stack size. We might not do 147, it might be 3 below that. Uh, and we need to subtract what's in the train, right? Instruction bot times... Negative one. Whoops. And also like that. Uh, and we need a condition on these of C equals zero. Why did we not have 50 construction bots here just now? That's weird. Where's my request for construction bots? We do make them with the auto crafter here, right? Having trouble finding them. I don't mass produce construction bots elsewhere, do I? Pretty sure that's not how anything works. So where's the signal for construction bot? Yeah, it is on the auto crafter. So we need signal. Okay. Is that it? Uh yeah, there it is, simple as that. Alright. Please make some more construction bots and logi bots. Because I have a feeling the low count is messing with... Oh, no. Shouldn't... Oh, I forgot one step. Um, we need a decider combinator? Wait, no. Why is C equal to 1? Um, 
48 times 3, 144. Oh, I should probably check my destination here. We are heading back to ship 6. Wait, what? Polar 6. There we go. Steampunkish, indeed. Okay. Um, so because there's a train, I'm outputting construction bot. Times 147. And because C equals 1, I'm outputting 140. That should be 144, actually. Why does it keep... Oh, it's because these are not being these are not being filled with construction bots when the when the circuit starts. That's why. Hmm. Okay. Can we just stop? No, no, I said stop. Um Wait, that, that, that's going to mess things up as well. Oh, it got loaded? Kinda. It ended up by fluke with exactly 144 bots. Okay, let's wait till there's 50 in each of these, which there are. And then... Uh, it should empty out the bots and then place them in 48 per wagon. Oh, did I forget that I left a wire disconnected? No? Wait, what? Oh, hold on. I didn't, I didn't include the part that says empty the train when it gets home. Um, so we're gonna say... What? What are we gonna say? Cane blood? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We just need to say red signal into this thing. In order to make it empty and then refill with bots. Now how do we decide the train just got here? Probably going to have to use the same logic as I did with the spaceships. Which is... Output green. Output red. And this will take, these two will take one tick more than this. So then, if green is greater than red, we know the train just arrived. If green, whoops. Uh, which means I probably don't need this one. Wait, do I? Yeah, I do. Uh, if green is greater than red, output red. Uh, if... If anything detected, output one green. And if anything detected, output one red. And that's basically it. Now what's it doing? Uh, let's try this again. So this should get reset as soon as the train gets back. Which it did, but then it instantly went back to C1. Uh, just because it was really quick. Yeah, no, that's, that's perfect. 48 
construction parts in each wagon. I think this is our deconstruction train loader. We could improve it, arguably, by putting repair packs in or something. But I think this is fine. Zoe Tay, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I really want to see uh, uh, the unload reload in action. This will probably take a uh, not that much longer. It's probably going to fill up before the train goes back. And then it looks like these bots will crawl back and jump back into the wagon while the loading and or unloading is happening. Which is exactly why we look for... Uh, if construction bot's greater than 144, reset everything. Almost there... Just one more stack of green circuits. And then it's going to reach its five seconds of inactivity. Fantastic. Back we go. Should probably put another little corner over here. And... It should unload absolutely everything, and then once that state is reached, it'll say, put some bots in. Cool. 48 bots each. Now, the real test is if we go somewhere far away and deconstruct more than... Uh, more than the bots can hold on to. So that they... Uh, more than the cargo wagons can fit. Uh, so that some of the bots end up floating back after this unloading, reloading thing has completed. Uh, and then... What? What's going on here? Oh. Oh, okay. I'm kind of tempted to use this as a test, but then spicy rocks are probably not the the number one thing that we want to have to manually put back where they belong. Oh, how about... nope. This one's not a candidate because... I was going to say because my automatic provide stack threshold adjuster thing worked too well. But apparently that's not why. Um, how much? Hmm. Well, I'm hard pressed to find a good example right this second. So we'll just have our construction or decon train park over here for now. And focus on what we're doing here. All right, we've got our ion canisters. We've got our spaceship floor. We've got our particle accelerator. And we board. And don't tell me it's out of power. No, it's got heat. All right, so we just need to... Please tell me I have some underground space pipe. I can handcraft one. There might be some back on the construction ship, but still, that was kind of scary. Alright, how big is this thing? Uh, just a little bit bigger than that. Alright. 
right. Did I not handcraft? I did not handcraft. Alright, we need to empty canisters. We need an efficiency module. And go. So that's going to take a little while. For a minute. 15. It's going to take like a bit over two minutes to push all this ion stream in here. Then we can deke on this and get back to it. Can I just literally just put this here without any... Nope. Without any issues. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Still taking multiple trips to empty this. Alright then. Are we almost done, Ski? Oh hey, this thing might have been working, or it might have been causing problems. We'll soon find out. There's a train on the way now. So once the train gets here, these two decider combinators activate. This one outputs one T, this one recycles T. So it's a timer. Um, and this says, don't put stuff into the train for... Uh, I meant to say five seconds, but that's 500 ticks. That's almost 10. And that was... That was dumb. Um, I kind of forgot to make sure that the request for the core fragments would appear before before the inserters get the signal. So we may have, like, random core fragments. Because of... Because of the stack inserters having bits left sticking out. If we're lucky, we didn't. This, uh, so far seems to have worked out. Okay, let's see. We need... Um... Basically, just this red wire to go here. So the moment the train gets here, which it looks like we've got another one coming. The moment the train gets here, this gets its request set. Which it does, and several seconds later when we should have, like, mm, pretty much the whole train load in here, actually. Then we set our filters with our stack size of 10. So we should have no problem whatsoever um, loading those quickly and accurately. And I think I will go ahead and add one more... Um, stack filter insert uh, on each side and we can load a whole stack with each swing pardon me all right construction train if you please swing by here uh, and we can pr probably get the rest of this done if we set this to inactivity. Fantastic. And then we'll maybe. I don't think we need it yet, but 
I'll maybe keep that area for another green chip build. Still need to update blue chips. Oh wow, we don't even have a a beacon here. We could at least save some power when these machines are actually running by having a beacon. Good gravy. I love that the construction train is already ready to go again. And then, before we forget... Oh, I don't want to mess with this while... Uh, while we're loading it already. But as soon as the train leaves, here we go. Just make sure we keep all of those connected. There we go. And yep, another train is on the way, I think. Yes, it is. That's not the one I meant. Here it comes. And now I'm just kind of wishing I made a generic unloader for the core fragments to come downstairs in the first place. Oh well. It's still a little bit slow compared to... Compared to like a bulk rail unloader, it's very slow. Or loader, rather. Now hopefully we can actually get rid of all this stuff. Um, and hopefully we don't continuously have ships landing here. I can dream, can't I? like we've finished with this. Fantastic. Give me back those floors and board the construction ship. Uh, and then Iron Hauler 6. Um, I guess I could send it straight to Bombato. What kind of distance are we looking at? Bombato orbit. If the ETA is like 10 minutes or something... Burgers and fries, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to go... Via Foenestra. Just to be safe. Now I need to remember to check on this guy. Once he gets to Foenestra. Yeah, it is going to be shorter. Foenestra. 12... Minutes or so? Oh, we're already in the Spatial Anomaly, so I don't know. How's your stream, Burgers? Thanks, Veldak. I designed all new Astro data card builds when I went to connect zero point energy data to inputs and outputs. I realized this recipe recycles inputs. Oh no. My favorite blender like that was um, building an entire block for processing Naquatite real fast. Um in the editor before noticing that Naquatite itself has an, an incredibly small stack size. Most unfortunate. I think I calculated that I would have had to have a train come every 12 seconds or something. Okay, is this actually getting emptied, or is it just becoming the new way that we unload stuff? Could probably set this to be a little bit faster. There we 
go. Alright, what's our destination? And now that we're maybe done fixing things for a little while, uh... Where am I going to actually expand stuff? Oh yeah, Vitamalange. Vitamalange. Uh, what kind of throughput do we have now? We can process 144 core fragments per second. I think I calculated that we, theoretically, if we don't have ship troubles or anything, we can provide 132-ish. Um, so that's about 140 Vitamalange per second. We need another one of these blocks here. That's why I was deleting this stuff, now I remember. Alright. And copy and paste. And construction train. One and two. Cool. Nice, that's a lot. My iridium powder build has 13k belt. 13k. Is that like per minute? And I need three of that build... Build like they're green belts. Good grief. Normally my pattern is I input recyclable to local chest and don't input anything new. Uh, if recycled hasn't been consumed first, but luckily it'll be easy to fix. Fantastic. It was good. Did a lot of design work trying to design a build to fill a spaceship of four trains. Every four minutes of iridium ingots. That's a lot, yeah. That's at least seven. Big clown, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Why did we only build two pulverizers just now? We are loading pulverizers, right? Yeah, we're loading 20. Are we missing something? Pulverizers, we are not missing. So what happened? Sixty-four hundred iridium ingots per minute. Yikes. All right, we got our nugget, and that'll be our bottleneck shifted once more. We will be able to produce, uh, theoretically, but that needs 144 Vietnamalange per second for 380 nuggets. Uh, and we... We can almost do that already. I just need to add, like, a couple of drills to keep up with these three blocks here. 380 nugget per second would comfortably... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, this is going to be our new bottleneck. Which I'm fine with for now. That's actually quite a bit. Sapphire? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, is this all going to get built? Um, Probably not in one, because... For some reason we only brought a couple of... Pulverizers the first time. But yeah, that should all get done with no further oversight. Whoops. Alright, what's next then? 
we are headed back to Hagen Orbit, or should we go back to Hagen Orbit first, or is there somewhere I'd like to go with all of this stuff that I've got? Um, I don't, th I don't think I've really found any outposts that I really want to set up. I mean, I was considering uranium on Hermes. Isn't that where the where our spidery friend is? Yeah, it is. This is the one I'm scared of scorching. With um, maybe I should just try it. No. I don't even have a beam here anyway. I'd have to beam from... Oh, how's how's Nalvis doing? Pretty good, actually. I mean, there's still a... Oh, wow. Yeah, there's still a long way to go, but we are very much making progress clearing Nalvis. Cool, cool, cool. Found all 60 pyramids... Now on to secret puzzles. I found all 60 pyramids. Did I? How, how do you... How do you know? Or was that someone else? Maholic, welcome in. Energy beaming Nervous. I cleaned my Nervous up recently around 270 hours. Indeed. Should we do some more zone discovery? Definitely. Do some targeted for now. What were we looking for last time? Coal? Yep, that tracks. I definitely like to get coal sorted out. Um, do I have any holy crap? 10k radius uranium. This is what I'm looking for. 7%... Oh, that's... Mm, that's cryonite. The one resource we'll never need more of. 7% uh, solar and massive, massive radius is what I'm really looking for. Um, if we ever need more imosite, uh, we'll be going to Wild or Wilder, whatever. Uh, Bombato we've already got. So the reason I'm looking for 7% solar is when we come out of the anomaly, uh, we we come in at the interstellar map, and this just minimizes the spaceship travel time. Um, but yeah. We've got an 8.5k k radius copper planet, but which is great, but like, we've kind of already got an 8.8k that's basically right next door, so I'm not as worried about copper. Doop-a-doop. We found a moon. Not really interested. Hedon. Um, I guess I could have a look, but... Yeah. Unless it was incredibly close, um... I don't know how... Finding a moon would be interesting at this point. There's a 7k radius almost barrel planet. Mm. Yeah, I think we should keep searching. First 60 planets equals pyramids, so yeah, if you found it after, then it's ruins. Okay. All right then. Um, how's our science and stuff doing? I wonder. Let's see. Reagent. That's the main bottleneck. Well, those spikes are closer together. That's about all I could expect, actually, considering just how ridiculously thirsty this block is. 115 extract per second. Uh, 
How about... I, I guess that's going to be proportional, but... Uh, significant biomass? Yeah, that's even worse. It's like the same thing, but worse. We've got way more production capability than... materials coming in for those resources, and that one's dependent on the last one I just looked at. Um, but hey, we are making Vitamelange a lot faster now. How are you still building this? Also, I actually need some burner turbine generators. I need eight of them. Can we just do this here? Oops. Burner turbine generator. One, two, three. Uh, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. What happens if... Do we get those resources back if they decon that? 